Shabbat Shalom, fellow Ambazunians. Today, na Saturday, number 24 day for this month of August, 2024. My name is Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman. Wuna welcome to another episode of our daily podcast. This one na a program where it bring una the truth. It bring una important information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. My fellow country people them, September it come for start na time we was school in need for go on, all thing it be ready for the people where they sell books them for Kumba, for Boya for Victoria, for Limbe, for Bamenda, all our proprietor them, mission school, private school, primary school, nursery school, mission school them, some school them like St. Beat, Sacred Heart, Our Lady of Lord, their boarding school them, they are already prepared for receive students them, school could start for this September. As usual, Ambazonians are confused by printed flyers, news, and statement made by various actors in our liberation struggle and people seems to be confused. Make no mistake, school starts in September and nobody can stop it. Not even Satan or Lucifer himself is able to stop it. School will start in September as announced on the 3rd of September, which is on Tuesday. School will start in all our community schools or private schools or mission schools only Cameroon government schools are banned in Ambazonia. Gone are those days where our people are confused. Today, our people have clarity because of the hard work we have done to educate our people, to give them confidence and strengthen them to fight and defend their own and uphold principles that will uphold their statehood and reinstate their dignity as a people. A lot of water have gone under the bridge. In the beginning of this struggle, we saw Sako Ikome, Chris Anu, declaring lock and down almost every single month, putting our people under unnecessary stress, creating huge tension between our own forces and our people. It has always been the dream of the enemy. Today, for over one year, Sako Ikome and Chris Anu are nowhere to be found. No more lockdowns have been declared. During that period, we know for sure that those lockdowns were being directed by cartels who smuggled petrol from Nigeria into Bamenda and in Kumba. Criminal gangs' only objective is to make money and maximum profit that have partnered with both the enemies above and the enemies below to make the life of our people miserable and transform our economy into a cash cow for their bank accounts. According to the intelligence that we gathered, when Eko Eko, who is today in Kondengi, met somewhere Ekome to bribe them due to my trip to Boya, which was a huge campaign to gather funds and sponsor Ambazonian soldiers to be able to equip themselves and be able to kick out Cameroon, the Cameroon government met with somewhere Ekome in America, and there was only one thing in exchange of any money that transpired between the two of them. No money collected from my true trip to Boya should ever reach Ambazonian fighters, no matter what you do. Until that day, no single dollar was sent to Ambazonian soldiers, not even to Phil Masha Oliver Leke. Soldiers were dying up and down, being crucified and destroyed. Soldiers who have come to the camp because they heard of the campaign of my trip to Boya were all slaughtered without any weapons to defend even themselves, let alone to carry out operations against La Republic to Cameroon. The deal was clear. Make sure no money reached Ambazonian soldiers. Till today, Sako Ikome is providing more rice and bags of sorts to our people who are in the refugee camps than he will provide AKs and granites to soldiers who are on the ground. No money have been given for arms and that is a mafia that have ruined our struggle and that our people must recognize. If our own leaders are more corrupt 
than the regime in Yaoundé? What other impetus do we have for our people to push this struggle through? Of course, it is clear to them that we're fighting Bia because he was so corrupt, willing to kill our people to stay in power. Today, we have our own, the same, doing the same thing. Whether it was from Mark Barata, who refused to hand over the consortium interim leadership back to Tassan Wifred, or it was Tassan Wifred unwilling to work with Atta Milan, or Ayabacho Lucas and Akwanga refusing to kiss the ring of Seseko Ayoktabi, or Seseko Ayoktabi doing the same to the other leaders, it has been all the same. Our people have been let down by those who entrusted our hope, our trust to guide us to the promised land. Ambazonians must shine their eye in ground zero, especially as we approach September, the resumption of school day. Today, Ayabacho Lucas, the short wicked man in Norway, have put out a letter stating that school will resume in October. Craziness. He is as mad and crazy like his idea to change taxi color from yellow to blue and white that has simply handed our people over to La Republic to the slaughter. As I speak today to you, ladies and gentlemen, taxi drivers who used to run Klando all over Bamenda are paying a huge price. They are being harassed. Their vehicles are being seized every day, claiming they are obeying what Ayabacho is saying by changing their taxi color when they know that these are clandos that have been using different colors to run around the town, running Bamenda Bengui, providing service for students who are in Bambili University, they are now paying a huge price. As I speak to you today, two more taxi have been burned in Bamenda. Taxi that have even refused the Semak number plate. Their burns livelihood destroyed by this wicked short man called Ayabacho. Make no mistake, fellow Ambazonians, we must stand up for what is right, defend our interests from enemies within, whether be it the cancerous ones or enemies without. We must rise above our fears and do what is right. School start in September and nobody will stop it. I remember when the Ambazonian Fighters Commission of the Ground Zero Group, they came out championed by the spokesman Bitakola last year or two years ago, they announced that school will not start in September, school will start in October. They actually declared that there will be a lockdown in Ambazonia for one month during the entire September. We know that they were not just doing that out of their own, but they were being pushed by people who want to set Ambazonian forces against our own civilians, giving them tasks that are impossible so that they will beat them in their own game. Today, where is General Bitakola? He is long dead by the same people who manipulated him, promising to give him money. That is how he found his death, because he was deceived by people to announce a date that is not comparable to the reality of our people or in line with what our educators on Ground Zero wants. It didn't take up to one year. Peter Kola, who have survived this war for seven years, was killed as a result of money he went to collect to people he believed were sponsoring him. Today, Ayabacho is setting up our soldiers on the ground the same. He is not doing so because he loves our people or he cares about our education. Remember, when I rejected Ground Zero Command declaration that school will not start in September and there will be a lockdown and school will only start in October, when people like John Baokoro came in to support them because of popularity, what happened? Ayabacho was standing beside me because me, Kapo Daniel, I was the main person coordinating with our educators on the ground, with our parents on the ground, to do what was very critical and crucial for our people's identity, culture, by bringing back our students from the Francophone zones in Cameroon. I successfully, with a one-man soldier, campaigned to resume our schools, bring back our refugees who have run into French territory to be Francophonized. The impact of the Amazonian students crossing the border into Douala, Yaoundé, Bafusam, was huge to support the economy and the educational facilities in La Republic du Cameroon. Schools were built on their back. Investments were made by Francophones to tap into these human resources that were flowing in in the name of IDP. We reversed that trend with the opening of community school, working with our local schools, 
to enable and create an environment for these students to come back. We are not even in a position to debate or change the date of school coming. In reality, our job is to facilitate the school of our people to bring them back from Cameroon because there they spend money and they empower Francophones. The Francophones, it is their interest to sabotage the school system in Ambazonia, which is the envy of the war. It is their interest to sabotage it so that students will no longer come to Ambazonia for study, but they will be studying in La Republic. This year, 2024, for the first year in our history, Yaoundé have the highest number of students that registered to write our own Anglophone exams of GCE. What a shame. Those who are enabling the colonial master are the so-called hardliners, extremists amongst us that seeks relevance through any harsh means that punish our own people and destroy the very identity we set out to protect. School in Ambazonia, ladies and gentlemen, start in September. Nobody from here will stop it. Those Confucianists who do what they do best confuse our people. But it is up to us, the people in Ground Zero, to go about our day-to-day -day business while resisting the enemy, the legitimate enemy, La Republic du Cameroon. For any Ambazonian soldiers who will be derailed, be deceived, not to focus their attention on Cameroon government schools that are also struggling to reopen, all legitimate and genuine Ambazonian people who are resisting must focus their energy to stop Cameroon government school from reopening without a political settlement of this crisis. The attention should not be on our own schools, our own people, our own teachers in our community schools who are doing everything humanly possible to uphold the standard that we have set, that me, Kapo Daniel, have set for our educators which is no uniform, no hoisting of Cameroon flag, no singing of Cameroon national anthem in the morning to uphold the resistance against the imposed identity and governance of Cameroon without concern or without consultation of the Ambazonian people. We must reject all falsehood. We must reject all manipulation for political gains and uphold the principle that keeps Ambazonian first. Ambazonian first our people in Anglophone region first. Today, we have weakness with sadness in our heart for the much past that took place in Manu. And this is as a result of the actions of these extremists who have turned our own people against our own, make our people have a bitter taste of our own reality in resistance against Cameroon. They have derailed our struggle. They have punished our own people and make our own people celebrate the enemy. I'm going to play for you some of the videos that are coming out from Manu. Listen. This is video from Manu. Huge thousands of people coming out in Manu to sing praises to Paul Bia, not just to run election, calling him the president, the one for one Cameroon. Our people have turned their back because of people like Ayabacho that comes to make stupid announcements for political relevance. They don't care about our people, the land of Manu, where we fought, where I and Tiger won. The Magbaratas in those days, we fought as the Tigers of Ambazonia to push away La Republic to Cameroon have been turned into a land where the name of Paul Bia is being sung. Why? because of these extremists amongst us, this corrupt individual, corrupt to their soul, that have sold this, their soul to the devil and derailed our struggle. For a moment, I want you to listen to the Secretary General of the People's Right Advocacy Platform, PRAP, as he reacts to these incidents. This is a mass pass that took place in Manus a few days ago. If you have never seen it, you can watch it now. <laughs> see, see, see the crowd. This is the result of when you turn your back against your people, the enemy become a god to them. History has shown, proven that so many times. Even Hitler, with his, all his wickedness, Hitler never raised his hand against his own people. 
Hitler was trying to conquer other countries and subjugate them while protecting his own people. Yes, even all the wicked people that we know in history, they always protect their own. The moment, what they say, when if uh, injustice become a duty, resistance become a law, or injustice become a law, resistance become a duty. This is just the fact. The moment you turn your back against your people and start treating them more than how the enemy was treating them, the enemy become a god to them and a safe house to them. You have lost it all. Ambazonia, Sina Manu, how did we get here? The land that blood spilled. Thousands of trucks went down the drain. Bills heads were beheaded. Manu. I, I, I was, that time, I was at the, at the roadside. Trucks were passing. None of them came back alive. All the chain quarters that went to Manu, all sank. 218, 219, it was bloody for the military. Military were running for their life in Manu. When they post in Manu, you, you, you run as if you die. Today, they are singing. Ha, huh? God. Those who have destroyed our struggle, those who have destroyed the liberation struggle, go out there to write stupid messages about school opening, burn down our own taxis, burn down ancestral palaces and sacred shrines in our villages, attack chiefs, attack our own people, attack the opposition, swear to burn the grave of John Fundy and dig out his dead body, why the enemy parades our land. What a curse. Ayabacho will remain a curse upon our people. But this is a yoke that we must break. This is a man we must reject and his ways rejected by all of our people and seen for what it is. Our people must learn, must learn to overcome, must learn to ignore these scavengers, these demons, these killer and slaughterers of our own people who have no mercy on the innocent, they behave, execute publicly at the innocent of our people, and they use terror to terrorize our own people. This is not what liberation is about. Our liberation movement was based on the collective struggle. Our people resisted and boycotted school out of their own will, and that is how it is. School will start in September. September 3, School will start boarding schools and the nursery schools that have contacted us that are going to open their doors will open their doors. Community schools will go. Our people have returned back en masse. And the beginning of the school year is very critical for us to sustain the return of our IDPs, the return of our people back home to preserve their identity and not be francophonized and build on our unique anglophone style education in Ambazonia, in southern Cameroons. That is the decision of the people. The voice of the people is the voice of God. And we have an obligation to serve that interest, which is greater than ours, and uphold the interests of our people and do what is right for them. God bless you all. Kapo Daniel, looking out for you, signing off. <laughs>